and head to the pet store to get a new tank. 40 bucks, 2.5, got a filter. Coming in and over. Hi Marco, I have a betta fish. This thing literally has to like fresh, I have to refresh the water like literally every single day. It runs out of the water so fast, but to the beta lovers out there, I'm sure you're going to love what I'm about to do right now. I'm going to put it back in this box. I don't know if I have a receipt for this or not. I can't remember. It's probably in my truck, but there's a million other receipts, so I don't know if I can get it. I'm going to bring it back, hopefully get my money for this one, and then get two like separate like bigger tanks so I can put them all in a row in my room. I wanted to put Luna in the mini pond, but I'm not exactly sure. You guys can let me know if I should do that or not. I looked it up. They said mollies, some of them have long fins. They might mistake the other mollies for a betta fish and then they fight and I would I don't want that to happen. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this in the box, go to Petco or PetSmart, I think where I bought this, and um, see if I can get two other size tanks for these two betta fish. Cause honestly, I wish I had someone to give them to because at this point, I don't really wanna buy two separate tanks, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So uh, let's load this thing up and head to the pet store to get a new tank. We've got our two containers. We're just gonna fill this container up until there's enough water for him to swim. He is good until we get back. Close this so he doesn't jump out. <laughs> I have no idea where it went. Maybe it died when I wasn't here. I'd have to ask my mom. Bam. And there it is. Alright, so we got both our betas right here in these containers. Make sure they're both closed up. I'll leave them cracked just like that so they still have some sort of air. Just like that, so these are good, right there. Now we gotta empty out the water in every single one of these, get it into here. Got our little rocks in a bag, our big black rocks in a bag, all three of our plants, everything is out, and I'm just cleaning it now. Now it looks like nothing ever even happened. That's where we're going to come back to when we get home. And this right here is the tank. Let's head to Petco, or Petsmart, don't know where to go, with this guy right here and try to get something new. Alrighty, we are here at Pet Supermarket. It's our first place we're going to try to get rid of this thing. <laughs> it's kind of weird to say. I don't have a receipt, so I'm just going to go in, try to get money. I don't even care. It's store credit, anything, just so we can get some new tanks for these beta fish so they can actually so they can actually thrive and live in their tank. So uh, let's head on in. This should be very interesting. Well, that didn't work. Uh, that didn't work. So first stop is a no bueno. We're going to the next stop. It would have worked, but I don't have an account. I don't have an account there, so I don't have my phone number in there. Alrighty, next location, quick uh, stop at Petco. I don't even know if they have these in there, so I'm just gonna try another stop. Hopefully I can get store credit here and then pick up something else that's here for these beta fish. What a 40 bucks, 2.5, got a filter. Everything's pretty much built into it. This is one tank, so the other beta fish, we'll have to figure out something to do. I, I, think, I, know, I think I have an idea. Alrighty, so I originally bought that triple flow tank for $50. I just got $12 off this tank, which was $40, so I ended up spending. But we got one tank, we got a new tank for the beta, for the beta fish. Should be dope, let's go home and uh, set it up. All right, we are home with the tank. We're gonna do a little unboxing. Man, it looks just like Luna's, literally. But bigger, for sure bigger. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm guessing this is what goes on the bottom. Yep. Perfect. That looks really cool. And then look inside. Here's the filter pad. It's right there. All this coin out. Right here. Alright. Shows us how to make it level. Alright, so you got two two dollar off things. Water chlorinator. Uh Oh, thing of flakes. That is a good deal right there. I love these. Never can go wrong to having some extra one of these. My mini pot will love these. Yeah. Or the lights. See, as you can see, there's two LED strips right here. And uh, this plugs into there. Each other like that. And then light up that once, obviously, once I plug it in. 
Now I don't have to rinse these off because it's gonna be the same rocks that were in the tank before. Let me do this. And there we go. There's those rocks. Plant them out. All right, one plant going in. Lucky beta fish living in this. Another one right here. And last but not least, one in this back corner here. That is the miniature beta fish tank right there. As you can see, now, only one of these beta fish could stay because I got one tank. I have two beta fish right there. My friend Nick. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Friend Nick texted me earlier and said his betta fish recently passed away. There's an extra betta fish tank in his uh, kitchen and his mom loves it. So his, a lot of the parents love to have these betta fish like this in the kitchen. Just keep them company, you know, it always has something there. It's nice, they're colorful, they're beautiful. He loves this blue one, if you can remember in the video. When I bought this blue one, he, saw, he told me this was his favorite one. Get this one, bro. That one is going to Nick's house and I'm gonna keep, like I said once again, reminds me of the Platinum Red Tail. Blue, black, light blue, like a white, a gray. Such a cool looking fish. Anyway, we're gonna put that water into here um, after we put some normal water as well. I don't know why I always design it and then put water in. Every single time I just pour it and everything gets destroyed. Super cool. Now I'm gonna get these dark rocks right here and kind of spread them out throughout the tank just to make it look cool. Current day, just trying to figure out what the heck that noise is. It'll go away in just a second. Just bear with it. And uh, beta safe. All right, what we're gonna do now is uh, plug this filter in and see how it runs. No idea. All right. So in order to acclimate this beta fish to this temperature water. I'm just gonna suck up some water with him. Pretty simple. Just like that. There is the beta fish inside the bag. Put him right on in just like that. And uh, now we wait probably about 10 15 minutes. Alrighty, so I just plugged in the lights while he's acclimating. Look at those LEDs. Brightening it up. That's how it'll look right there. So we are gonna. Give that a little bit, obviously I'm gonna unplug this. Wait till this guy's ready to come out. Pour the water out of here, into there. We should be set. All right, Tommy's holding the net, and there the betta fish is right there. Coming in and over. Right in, I think you missed it, but we're good. Betta fish is in the tank right now. Look at the difference in size he's got now. He's got a whole tank to work with. Huge, big male betta fish right there. We're gonna put this light on now and watch for the difference. Boom. Beta fish galore. Now, the filter in three, two, one. I don't even know where that comes out from. Oh, I see it. Now the water is flowing out right here. I thought it would come out of here, but it doesn't. It comes out from right there. If you could pick this up. You can see the water getting pushed through right there. All right, now you can see the clicker is right there on the side. And all the wires are tucked back there, so you can't even see anything. There's the new betta fish tank right there. We've got this guy right here, now that I'm keeping him uh, forever until he passes. In the memory of the platinum red tail catfish, what should we name this betta fish? Now, let's head over to Nick's house and get him his favorite betta fish. Quick update on Luna before we go here. As you can see, he's chilling back there. All right, so I just talked to Nick. Davis is in the background too, Davis right. Bennett. He does not have the tank anymore. I guess he gave it to his grandma or something. It's all right, we gotta find a, We gotta find somewhere or someone that wants a betta fish. I wish I had connections with all you guys that are local around here, I'm sure one of you. But now we are stuck with this little guy right here, an all blue betta fish. For customer service, press three. Marco speaking, how may I help you? Hi Marco, I have a betta fish, nothing's wrong with it, I just don't, the tank's like, I got rid of it and I have nowhere to put it. Do you guys, like, take them in for free? You can I just have it. Um, the betta fish? Do you have like the little container it came in or a receipt for it? Um, I don't have a receipt, I have a container that you can keep. It's a little container that looks just like it. 
She said, uh, it's okay. Okay, perfect. I'll be by. Yeah, I'll just give you the container that I have them in. Okay. Alright, perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. Alright. Little guy right here is going to go to a new home. I, I, think, I think it's a good way to do it. I mean, I have two tanks, two betas, Luna, and the one that's going to be named. And I've got one left. And let him have a good life. So, uh, let's head over to Petco and give this guy back. Yeah, so I'm sure he'll go with all these guys over here and yeah. sell to a new home. Filling out the paper for beta fish. All right. He's going to go over with all those guys. It's the right thing to do, am I right? Yeah. All right, the, cool. He won't survive if you release him. Yeah, exactly. All right, thank you again. Have See you later. Huh. You missed, dude. Come on. If you're going to do that reckless things in the stores, you got to at least make it. I thought you were going to shoot it in Billy Badass. Beta fish is good in Petco. So I appreciate all you guys for watching. You think the are literally exploding. We might be one of the fastest growing fishing channels, if not the fastest growing fishing channel right now. So I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. And until next smash time, it. I'll see you in that next, whoa, it just got dark video. Peace.